I was going through a hadith earlier today with someone, the hadith of khula. What is a khula? You know, divorce happens where the man issues a talaq to a woman that's called talaq. It's called a divorce, right? Then the, the other one is when the woman has no reason, but she just doesn't like the guy. She doesn't want him anymore. She can request for a khula. The Prophet ﷺ, a, a woman came to him and said that this man is a good man. He's, he's done whatever he provides. He does this, but I just don't like him. I don't want to be with him. And the Prophet ﷺ tried with her and then says to him, called him and said, what did you give as a mahar? He said, I gave a garden, an orchard. Are you prepared to give it back? He asks her. She says, yes, I'm prepared to give it back. He looked at him and he said, take the orchard back and give her the talaq. So that's exactly what he did. That's the primary source of the khula, which means the woman is giving back her mahar and getting the talaq. What's the reasoning? I don't really have a proper reasoning. It's okay. I just don't like you. You know what? I married you and your body odor is too much for me to handle. It's a fact. It's happened. I've had people who get married and uh, to someone they met online a lot of the times, but they didn't smell them. Subhanallah. It's a reality. You could take a page from the shower and another from something known as underarm, by the way. It's a fact. Some people don't bother. They don't care. Their nails are whatever. They don't mind about their pubic hairs. They don't mind about anything. And I'm married. And you know what? I'm okay. That's how it becomes. What do you do? You've got to come up and say, listen, everything's okay. He provides. He's a good guy. He's, he reads his salah. His akhlaq, his deen is in place. But I don't want to stay with him. I can't tell you why. Whatever it is. So it's called a khula. Now what the men do these days is they say, no, I want to, I gave you five bucks when we got married. You need to pay me five thousand bucks. That's the reason why in some cultures they, they charge you a hundred grand. Why? They say, so that the day I say, I want a khula, you scratch your head and think about it. And they say, okay, give me 95 grand at least back. But it's not about a deal. In Islam, it's a matter of honor. It's a matter of being reasonable. Come on, there's something wrong. Give the talaq. It's okay. It's not the first or the last. And by the way, when there are children involved, it's not you and not him. Not her or not him. It's up to Allah what happens there. And just follow what Allah says. Allah says, access is with one side and custody is with the other. But it must be honorable and respectable. The problem with us is we fight. We fight to the degree that we don't allow this one to see or to hear. And we contaminate the ears of the kids about the other one. What's the point? They are your kids, both of you. May Allah protect all of us and make us honorable parents.